that's a time where she needs to be cared for, protected, taken care of. But over a period of time, somebody makes this a discriminatory process. We are born from that, if that is impure, our very birth is impure and the creation is impure. This, you made a very sweeping statement, uh, a prejudice from the spiritual dimension. I want you to understand spiritually, there is no mention of menstrual cycles anywhere because spiritually you cannot have menstrual cycles. <laughs> Only physiologically you can have, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so it's a physiolo physiological issue which reflects as a psychological factor in a certain segment of women, I wouldn't say everyone, but quite a substantial segment of women find a reflection of their physiological process in their psychological makeup, which is a fact that has to be taken care of. If this is being said only because some temples and other things have said women cannot enter at that time, you need to understand this from where this comes from. Today's woman, you forget about her, okay? how she is equipped, what is… how she is uh, capable of handling her bodily needs and other things are a different matter. I want you to look back a thousand years ago. What kind of sanitary facilities did she have? What kind of processes did she have? So, there could be issues about that, isn't it? It's only for that reason, they said, and above all, you need to understand the level of physical activity for a normal woman in those days. Cooking for fifteen, twenty people, taking care of the cows, taking care of the children, everything is hers. It's a tremendous amount of physical activity. So, the woman who is going through a certain process of her cycle, she gets three days, four days break from everything. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Because that's a time where it is almost like a malting period for a woman on one level. It's not as big as malting. But it's almost like that, that's a time where she needs to be cared for, protected, taken care of, somebody else cooks for you, which never happens in her life. <laughs> Every day she cooks, for those four, three, four days somebody else cooks for her, somebody else serves her food, she sits alone by herself, she meditates, she sings, she does prayer. Isn't this a good way of doing things, I'm asking? Do not consider this as today's life. Look back a thousand years ago when these things were made. It was a very good way of protecting our women. But over a period of time, somebody makes this a discriminatory process. A woman should not come here, should not come there. That is just out of ignorance certain things happen. It has nothing to do with the spiritual world because if my mother did not have menstrual cycles, I wouldn't be born, okay? Yes or no? We are born from that. If that is impure, our very birth is impure and the creation is impure. It's a ridiculous thought even to think like that. It is not because of purity and impurity this has come. It has come for practical reasons. Even today I meet thousands of women who suffer a lot at that time because they still have to go to work, they still have to deal with everything. There are many of them who are on medication at that time just to keep their psychological balance. They would definitely enjoy rest. They would definitely enjoy a little bit of seclusion from everything that they are doing. But uh, thinking it is pure impure question is coming in a very rudimentary mind. It is no sense in… no fundamental sense about life.